Lachlan, Lachlan, yeah. Pokemon Gen 3 is out. F off, Billy. Ladies and gentlemen, it has uh, finally happened. Pokemon Go Generation 3. So you guys may have seen a couple days ago, we had uh, the big trailer come out. Really cool, really dope. And as of today, we got 50 brand new Pokemon within Pokemon Go. Originally found in the Hoenn region. That's just the official wording they use. So Gen 3 means a lot to me. Uh, your boy did uh, play a lot of Ruby and Sapphire back in the day. It was like the first Pokemon game I took seriously. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty interesting and really cool to like, you know, see all those Pokemon back again and uh, catch them up in game. So as you can see here, we got our little cool uh, display screen that, you know, loads up. It's actually really cool. We got Plusle Minim, Curlia, Beautifly, I see some C Dots, Delcatty, oh, it's gone. That's really cool uh, little post trip we got there. More Pokemon have arrived. Woohoo! This is exciting. You can actually see one Pokemon nearby as well as a seed up, but I don't really want to seed up. Now before we head out into the city for today's episode, because that's what we're gonna do, Gen 3's come out. We're gonna go straight into the city and try to catch as many Gen 3 Pokemon as we can. Wanna go over a couple interesting things with uh, this Gen 3 update. Let's get it. All right, let's get this party started. I know the best way to get started. I think they're all about a battery. to this place called St. Coco's does the best eggs on toast with bacon, so we're gonna go get it. Sleep plates, happy face. Uh, now, unfortunately, there is no Gen 3s here, so we're gonna head straight up to the city and uh, catch a Pokemon. It's, you know, Gen 3, Pokemon Go. Three, four, five minutes in, we'll have these little Pokemon. So it's boys. This is the best part, honestly. Drink coffee on the highway, just autopilot for the boys. Uh, hand on the wheel at all times because don't want to, you know, get in trouble, but it's doing a little drive itself. Billy's probably just came up with the best idea ever. It probably will never pass in any countries. But imagine if we had Pokemon Go right here, and I could just drive around town and just bang it in, just catch it, drive up, bang, catch it. That would be huge. That would actually be huge and highly illegal and cause more accidents. There was actually some article or something that came out. It was like how much damages, like traffic stuff that like Pokemon Go has caused since release. Cost like the government a couple hundred million or something. Anyway. Alrighty, we have arrived um, at our discreet parking location. We're gonna go ahead and grab out the skateboards. Now, skateboards for Pokemon Go, very meta. Very meta indeed. And that one's yours. All right, we've arrived. We've got the Story Bridge in the background. A great day out. Um, I'm predicting sunny weather in game. And uh, let's have a look with our new feature. And yep, there we go. So we've got increased booster types of grass, ground, and fire. Um, probably sea dots and wormholes. We'll have to see. What have we got on the nearby radar? Yep, I called it C dot. Okay, that's kind of cool. As far as raids go, we actually got a couple Ho Ho raids going on, which I actually haven't got any yet. So. And that expires soon, so I wouldn't mind participating in some of those. However, both of them on the other side of the river, so that's not happening. But we do have a sea dot, so let's go hunt him down. He is, he's pretty, he's like all the way in the city, but it's the only generation three Pokemon I can find on my nearby, so let's get it. Oh, there's one right here. It turns out don't need to go on too much of a chase. There's a C dot right here. So first generation three Pokemon in the comments down below. Let us know what your first generation three Pokemon was. C dot the boy repping huge here. Um, 233 uh, CP. Now I'm gonna make sure to pineapple as many of these bad boys as we can. We wanna get as many candies so we can uh, max out that dex as soon as possible so we don't have much content in a week. Cause that's how this thing works. We've only got 50 Pokemon to work, oh wow. Um, you know, we only got 50 Pokemon to work with here so. I'm gonna catch them all in the first week. I'm gonna take the glasses off. You can see like the nice blue sky in the background representing the sunny day. But uh, no worries there. First go catch. C dots uh, on the decks. And uh, I might pop that lucky egg today actually. Gonna get a lot of new Pokedex entries. Definitely grinding for that level 35. 
and we've nearly got it, but yeah, it looks like we're gonna be at a bit of a sea dock, right? Oh, we got a zigzagoon nearby as well. He's further in. Okay, we're heading further in either way because there's a lot of Gen 3s out in that area. Now, skateboarding is normally meta for, you know, Pokemon Go traveling, but we got one problem. Billy doesn't know how to skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> so Billy's gonna try his best to uh, not stack it today, okay? No stacks in the city? No stacks. No stacks in the city. But if I do stack, you better catch it. Well, you're the one going filming, so... Don't know how it's gonna work. <laughs> Just, like, you're vlogging and the next minute gone. Uh, so our whole goal today, we're gonna visit a couple key places in town while always checking to see what's around us. We got a zigzagoon right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that lucky egg like I said I was going to, because, you know, Brand new Pokemon, gotta make it happen. A little AR mode. I haven't tried it on the uh, Note 2. Looks really good though. Let's get it. Oh, I like those animations. Looks so clean. Alrighty, and just like that, should have Zigzagoon on the decks. There's one, there's two, there's three. Alright. I also gotta fill you in on uh, what Pokemon I haven't caught yet from the second gen. So there's actually a couple. There's Entei. Yeah, I know, I missed Entei, uh, which really sucks. I just wasn't playing Pokemon Go for like a whole month. Um, bit lame. I was gonna catch it with Mystic one day, but we didn't get out to the city, which kind of sucks. And the other one being Ho-Oh, still in rotation. Gonna try and catch that today if I can manage it. And with the Tyrogue, still never managed to get that hit on top, which really sucks. And last but not least, Steelix. Didn't get that metal coat. Hopefully we can get a metal coat today though. We'll see how that happens. But uh, Zigzagoon is down and caught. Anything nearby? Oh, we got a tree coat. Oh, whereabouts? I suppose that's the boosted grass types, right? It's, okay, that's in the direction we're heading. Just down there, it's at the tip of Garden's Point. Let's get it. Alrighty, first Gen 3 starter Pokemon. And you can see the little sun boosted thing on the actual um, Pokemon itself, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just gonna bang on a pineapple. If we can get a Sceptile today's episode, I'd be hella down for that. Great ball, curve ball throw. And... That guy's clapped. Um, one, two, oh wow, I actually didn't catch. Okay, this might be a hard one to catch with the pineapple, I reckon. 310 CP, let's go Ultra Ball, no messing. Like, we'll probably find a fair few Trico out here just because of that sun boosted effect. Um, so one, two, and three, there we go. I'm gonna make sure I catch every Absol though, trying to get that shiny. Same with Mawile. Might even do a couple of the raids if they're up, but there we go. First Gen 3 starter Pokemon, that's awesome. And let's see if we can find any others to back it up in the Garden's Point. There's a dot. so we might even look into getting a shift tree today. Uh, as far as raids go, we got the Ho-Ho's that are across the bridge still. Uh, we're just gonna make our way around Garden's Point and just see what we can catch, but dot is the closest one. Oh, it's all the way back there. Screw it, we'll find as many as we can, but it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a very fun day. Alright, we've got a uh, new Pokemon. <laughs> Do you know how this is called? No. We got a Puchiana. So, new Pokemon. Let's see where he's at. Oh, he's just up here. Alright, let's get him. Here, Poochiana, little Poochie. All right, Pineapps, same deal. I think it's 50 to evolve this bad boy, so make sure it's stock up. Let's get a great ball, and that should be a wrap. All right, one, two, and that's a wrap, GG boys. Billy is uh, really struggling with the skateboard. It's like, he doesn't really skate often. He's done like the um, the power board before and whatnot, but he's really, oh, he's doing all right. You good? He's good, he's getting used to it. Um, but yeah, we're just going through Botanical Gardens. It is such a good day out, which this is why I love Pokemon Go, right? Going out and filming. It's just it's so much better than just sitting at a desk and filming games all day. Wish I could do it every day, but it's not every day you get a big update like today. It just kind of sucks because I hope we don't get too much of the grass Pokemon because I want to actually get the other Gen 3s as well. Like, I really want to start the Torture Client today if I can. What's the game saying? Billy's on Pogo. There are, there are Pokemon here. Yeah, but have we got Gen 3s or any Black Silhouettes? Yeah, we do. A Delcaddy. Yeah, right. Sunny Boost Fire type spawns. So we can get Torchic and Trico today. Like, as an accelerated spawn. And ground, but I don't know what ground helps us in for Gen 3. I can't think of any ground off the top of my head. Lost, lost the board, lost it all. 
How did that even happen? I don't even know. I just lost the shoe and then the skateboard went with it. That's a bit embarrassing. Good pants. I mistook uh, this ferret as a linoon just then. They look exactly the same, but we got the Del Caddy right here, which is what we want. Oh, sorry, Skitty. I messed them up. 10 CP. Should be an easy banger. No excuses to not use the pine apps. You can hear all the cicadas. Is it cicadas? Cicada, cicadas. Speaking of cicadas, uh, we don't have the ninjas line in here yet, which kind of sucks. Um, he was pretty cool. And there's that other one you can get when you evolve him. Ah, what's it called? Shed Ninja. He is so dope. Uh, but there we go. Skitty, another one on the decks. Just getting them all in here. I might get level 35 today at this rate. That's number five. Is there anything else nearby? There is. There's two. There's the mining. Is it just back there? Okay, there's one across the park. May have looking to get him later, but there's also a gulpin over here. So where is the gulpin? Gulpin's also over there. So guess what? We're going over there. Um, it's all the way through this university. That way. Look at that tower, the government building. It's like pretty much near there-ish. All right, let's get it. It says no recording. Oh. oh. Oh, that's two in one day right there. Gulpin. Let's go, baby. Right under the tree, let's have a look at him. CP87, watch the skateboard. Damn, he's a little fatty, isn't he? All right, um, so this will be number six. And then if we get mining as well, that'll be number seven. Mining, of course, being that region exclusive to, I don't even know what I'd say. It's like Western and Eastern, like hemisphere? I don't know, hemisphere it separates the bottom half, isn't it? East, Eastern, East and West. All right, let's just go with that. Um, I'm gulping down no matter what, so that's another thousand XP, which is huge. Um, we're just going to try if we can get as many evolutions as we can in today's episode. Just bang out as many as we can. Uh, mining, we've got two of them actually. Uh, one is just down there, the other over there. So we're going to get the ones closest to us. It's just down here, let's get them. Alrighty, bad boy mining should be popping up any second now. Three, two, one. And there it is, the boy. Alright, let's get him. Look how tiny he is, he's so small. All right, 288 CP. I mean, don't really need the candy too much for this guy, but we're just gonna keep doing it. I mean, might as well get as many candies as we can, but yeah, that's your little Pikachu type of this generation. Little Pikachu, remind him. So yeah, separated, of course, which really doesn't make sense because these guys are meant to be together. And I can't believe they've done that. But there we go, mine and added to the Pokedex. So that is gonna be number seven. Um, quick attack and swift as the moves. We got an egg here as well. Haven't got any fresh eggs to hatch. Um, actual Gen 3 eggs. And if you saw that chart at the start of the episode, you can see what can be hatched. The starters, um, Sableye, Morwell, I think can be as well. But unfortunately, not much going on here with these raids. There's one starting 1120, which is nowhere close. Yeah. All right, let's get back on the hunt. Um, hopefully in the shade though, because I am dying. Another mining on the way to the bridge. I mean, we'll keep stacking them, they keep coming. Shout outs to all my NA squad who can't actually catch this boy. I want to see you tweet me your pluses. Um, but yeah, we're heading over to South Bank, which is like our stomping ground for catching Pokemon. I'm gonna go over there and see what we can catch. Um, should be around the same. Hopefully get some Torchix. At least we're gonna look at a combustion. I don't know how many rare candies I have to work with. I'm surprised they didn't lock off the rare candies so you can't use them for this gen. I expected them to do that. We've got 30 rare candies to work with. Would like to keep most of them. I like putting on my Mewtwo's and other rare things, but man, we'll have to see. I don't know other new pokes. All right, let's go. All right, this is the magic bridge that'll take us from one side of Brisbane to the other. This is actually crazy. We've got a Ralts on the go here. Yeah, so here's the Ralts. He is just up there. He might be the rare one, so let's go try and get him. We're gonna go straight up that way. This guy nearly disappeared from uh, the radar, so I'm really glad to get this guy because I think this might be like the Marie of, uh, of Gen 3, which is really good. Because he's out of a two, he's out of a 10k egg and he's an evolution, so I think this guy could definitely be that rare um, triple evolution category one. Um, either way, gonna not mess around here. Ultra Balls and uh, Pinout Berries, of course, to get all the candies. Uh, but yeah, I've seen a few people out here playing Pokemon Go, which is really cool. Uh, I guess a lot of people are hyped for Gen 3 out in the city. I love it. Uh, but there we go. That is Routes, which should be number 8. There's also a Miner over here, but we've already caught three of them, so... Don't really care too much about that guy, but there he is. Routes, Psychic Fairy type. And it's actually a Homo Raid. Uh, I used to say, not happening. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
that's so far away. But yeah, I'm gonna get this minor and hopefully catch uh, some, catch some uh, a few more pokes. I think I saw a nine tails not far away, so I might catch him anyway. Ooh, 1200 minor. Let's go. Second Trico of the day, boys. It's not bad. Torchic still hasn't made an appearance, but work with what we got here. Also on the way to a Makuhita, which will be number nine. So we might even get up to 10 in today's episode. Maybe 15, we'll see how we go. Most of them are evolutions though, you gotta remember. But there we go, bang, another pineapple on the Trico. So if we get two more of him, that should pretty much be uh, Grovile. Yeah, all right. Oh, and you get plus 25 Stardust for catching it. Oh, okay, in the actual um, zone. Total L here, he's old news. Yeah, Makuhita is just that way in life. I like saying that name, Makuhita. Makuhita Hariyama. All right, let's get it. Our boy Makuhita! Let's go! What is he, CP? 178. Oh, I see that smile on his face. That's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, this guy, I remember he was in like the second gym on like Ruby and Sapphire, and I remember my Taylor used to wreck him every time. Um, so that's gonna be number nine. Oh, is it though? It's popping though. Still yet to see any worm pools. Uh, worm pool, if you catch them enough times, you can get up to, I suppose, a total of five Pokedex entries because it splits at Silcoon, Cascoon um, kind of vibes. So it would be good to stack up on the worm pools because you can just get so many evolutions off them. I don't have my lucky egg on, so that's an L. Um, or maybe, no, I don't, that's an L. I have to re put that on. We've been out here for at least half an hour just uh, doing bits. But yeah, that is the boy. I think we're gonna take an Asai break. So if you have a look over here, that's the South Bank Pier. And obviously like back on like my first couple of episodes of Pokemon Go, that place was the place to go. I wanna see what it's looking like these days, Gen 3. See if maybe if there's you know, people there. There's four lures down, so there's definitely someone. Um, I'll have to go check it out. But yeah, Asai break, let's head it. New one. Uh, not exactly a new one, but it's another one. Uh, Golpin, 500 CP. What's going? Not losing the board, don't you? Well, yeah. uh, we need this guy to get, I think it's Swalot he evolves into. So there we go, that's at least, what's that now? Eight, nine candies, I think? Wait, you get, no, 12. Yeah, 12 candies total from the uh, Swalot game. So we need a couple more of these bad boys to get him going. Yep, it is officially a side break time. Let's go. This is good. This is one of the highlights of life right here. Okay, so we're just sitting up finishing our side. It's not a rainy in game. Them. Did you see that? See those blue skies? It's raining. No, that's not how this works. The only reason I'm down for it, oh no, sorry, it changed to partly cloudy. I'll pay that. But for some reason in game it's actually raining, which sucks because it boosts normal and rock type. Who cares about rock type? Or normal types. I don't want zigzagoons. I want mudkips. Either way, we've got a worm pool, so we're gonna finish up a site and then go uh, catch the bad boy. We got him. He's in the gap right here in the tunnel. Um, worm pool 165. It's raining in the background. Fam, I get it. It's partly cloudy. I'll pay it. But you can't have rain in there. Like, what are you doing? That is nothing but sun, boys. Uh, worm pool should be a 12 evolution. I wonder how it works as well. I think uh, Silcoon and Cascoon are male and female. I could be wrong. Um, I actually don't even know how that process works. But I guess we'll find out. It might just be probably random like the games. Yeah, you can see the clouds in the background, but the, again, the rain, why? Uh, but there also was another Gen 3 back that way. I saw it on the way in, it's a gray loom. So let's see if he's still on the radar. Probably should be popping that lucky egg, but who cares at this point? Um, let's see here. We go, oh, it came up with a question box. So yeah, it looks like it doesn't tell you. You just get a random one. It's a cloister ray, we really care about that. Should be a couple other raids going on. Uh, anyway, let's head back this way, see if we can catch that Breloom. The Whirlpool was number 10, and it looks like number 11 is gonna be Breloom. Sorry, shroomish. Got that wrong there for a second. Still raining in the background. However, if we look over there, it is actually getting very, very cloudy. Um, potentially could be some rain coming in, so maybe, I don't know, Pokemon Go predicting the future here. Uh, but yeah, this guy's really cool. Breloom, actually one of my like real favorites for Gen 3. I wonder if he's um, good in combat as he is in like the meta game for the actual game. Um, I guess we'll have to see, but uh, he's, I did pine at this guy, right? Wait, I hope I didn't screw that up. I did pine at him. Idiot. That kind of sucks because I really want to get Breloom ASAP. Idiot. All right, sorry for that, boys. I really want to try and get some bands with the Brisbane sign, but they've blocked it off. Really, why have they done that? It's a bit sad. It's a bit real sad, to be honest. Uh, there's a Poochiano nearby, <laughs> just over there. So we'll probably go stack up on some Pooches. Why not? 
and uh, wait for these eggs to hatch. Hopefully get a couple of the new Gen 3 raids would be actually down. Third one of the day, it is gonna be a Trico. I'm really pumped for this bad boy. So we're like past halfway for a Grovile already. Assuming I can catch him with a good old pineapple. Uh, I'm gonna AR mode this little bad boy right here. Hey, slapped the floor. What a rude little Trico. There we go. So when I first played Pokemon Ruby, uh, the starter I picked the first time round was Trico. Uh, wait, did I just put my hand in front? I did accidentally. Um, so yeah, Trico, and then the second time I played around, I went and did Torchic, and then went all the way to Blaziken, pretty much used him as my main. There we go, 18 Trico candy. I'm honestly pretty wrapped with that, to be honest. And uh, we got some pooches over here as well, which is pretty sick. Egg about to go off as well, so we might hopefully get like a Gen 3 raid. Absol or a Morwile would be definitely down for one of those guys. We should actually get a Shiny as well. But apart from that, not much else is going down. Pine out, and uh, yeah, after this, we're gonna head over to the city. Look at Bills, dude. Look at that form. Look at that form, dude. Alright, straight over for the pooch. Or not. Wait, can I curve it like out of the AR? I wonder, wait a second. Nah, you can wait. Nah, it doesn't work like that. Alright, anyway. Pooch, done dusted. It's been a rough day out in the city, not gonna lie. 11 uniques oh damn yeah 11 uniques so far no evolutions obviously it's day one like you can't expect uh, evolutions on day one jeez Pucciana, you better not run here uh, but yeah we're gonna go over the bridge where that big building is and uh whatever we can find on the way you're kidding me any ran raw Billy, really, that's not good. Oh, it's a zigzag in there. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna see what we catch on the way, and then it's off back home, I reckon. We're both uh, getting a little bit tired out here in the city, but execute, don't really care too much about that boy. Yeah, where'd the zigzag go? Are you kidding me? Both of them are gone. Well, no, the egg hatched, and then I lost the zigzag in, and then the zigzag. Bruh. Execute actually cost the boy. All right, well, back over the bridge it is. Six and a half hours later. Didn't expect to see this guy out. I don't know if he's like rare or anything, but Roselia. So he actually, or she, doesn't say the sex on uh, the screen here, but uh, actually evolves into Roserade. And yeah, Roserade in the fourth gen. So uh, I suppose I'll get the pineapple berry candy for now. Should be good to go. But yeah, walking down Queen Street. There's a lot of zigzag greens out here. So probably gonna walk out with a Linoon by the end of today's episode. It's kind of like the easiest like evolution to get. It's 25, kind of like Rattata and Centret, how they were 25 a piece. Uh, but yeah, there's a Roselia, and we've got that lucky egg down, so there's a thousand XP for the boys. Uh, still yet to find any raids that look good to actually participate in. Another zigzag in there, there's a slack off, as you can see in my uh, nearby. He's all the way on the other side of the river. CBA, heavy, heavy, heavy CBAs. But yeah, we're just gonna continue down here and uh, see what else we find. A little bit of pseudo wudo for my boy Mystic out there. Represent. Uh, I haven't seen too many of these bad boys out. I guess that's the whole cloudy weather rock types in hand, so gotta hop on that, you know what I'm saying? All right, so a couple of big things right here. We've got this uh, Electrak right here, which is actually huge. First time seeing this bad boy out here. But I wanna show you, I saw something else in my nearby that I think you guys are gonna like. And I think it has something to do with the cloudy. It's a normal type, uh, which obviously the boosted right now in the clouds, uh, but it's a second stage evolution and it's a third gen. Leave a guess what you think it is right now. And now that that's over, we caught Electra, got our bonus thing. This is gonna be the hunt, Billy. This is gonna be the wrap, because we wanna get this bad boy. He's a good Pokemon, all right? So, uh, yeah, you can see it right there, Delcaddy. Um, evolution of Skinny. Where is it? Oh, it's right over here. Okay, so, if we actually just go in here to the left, we'll actually get it. Let's get it. I think we lost it, Bills. I actually lost it. We're right where it was. There's skitties everywhere, but we lost the Del Caddy. That's sad, boys. That's really sad. All right, well, guess we're just gonna farm up the skitties then. We might be able to grind up these skitties to get a Del Caddy anywhere. There's a sea dot here as well, and there's a sea dot across the road. This place right here in the city is popping with posts. So many zigzaggies. All right, let's catch the sea dot. Let's get out of here. All right, so I don't believe this. I'm just here at the gym chilling, and I see his Andrews here. So first thought, I'm thinking, wow, Spoofer, unless he's just coming from America yesterday, uh, but probably Spoofer. Uh, so you got Zangoose here, and then if I scroll over a couple more, this guy has got a shiny Absol in the gym. Like, that's insane. Day one. Fam, are you mad? Shiny Absol. It looks mean, too. I thought it looked bad. Now that that looked mean. I think he's just giving me the uh, the shiny title bills, the shiny clickbait for the boys. Shiny clickbait. Shiny clickbait for the boys. 
looks like we are wrapping it up there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, plot twist, fully expected to be able to evolve Zigzagoon into Linen right now, but uh, actually needs 50 candy, not 25. So does that mean Poochiana is 25 then, or what's going on here? Where's Poochiana? Poochiana is 50 as well. Alright then, interesting. So it looks like you don't have any basic ones. Um, but as I hatch this uh, 5k egg, that is going to do for today's episode of Pokemon Go. It's been a long time coming where your boy is uh, out here catching pokes. Quite exhausting. I think I need to build up the stamina to get back out here again because we've been out here catching pokes for I think three, maybe four hours now. And uh, it's a really hot day. Man's definitely hot. We did like a whole loop of the city and uh, managed to catch quite a few pokes, get some good Ks. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys did. Chuck a like rating down below. I think we caught a total of 12 uniques, I think. Oh, and there's a Sableye right here. What's the bet? He's shiny. He's not. Darn. What about Magikarp? Darn. Alrighty. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys.